So it was just Christmas and I got the best gift of all, a free trip to Yara, formerly known as Guarma. But you may think like, it's a pandemic, you can't go there. And that was my thoughts exactly. But my family is just like, you know what, don't worry about it. The pandemic will be the least of your problems. So I happily went. I mean, I'd never heard of Yara before, so I figured it was a closed society and well, not much uh, of uh, the pandemic there. But uh, it was a little suspicious that I was the only one on the plane. And it was even more suspicious when my plane got shot down by some missile. But again, I'm doing fine now. I've got two best friends and we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together and just have a great time. Fuck a steal! One best friend. Well, this definitely wasn't the holiday I was expecting. I can't say it hasn't been exciting. I think it's the perfect word to put it. And now we have to just sneak past some guards and it's probably one of the most intense experiences of my entire life. But at the same time, it was really fun, you know? It's that thrill of like, if you don't do this right, you're going to get killed. And I just think that's really what the holidays is all about. We make a run for the sewers where the soldiers probably won't find us. And I'm starting to realize why I was the only one on the plane. You see, this place isn't very hospitable. I mean like, I haven't done anything against their president. I'm just simply here on vacation and now someone's trying to kill me. I don't really think that's fair. I just want to get home where I'll have to crawl in the sewers. I mean, it smells like shit in here. But as we're crawling through these sewers, I see a glimpse of light, hope. Maybe I could see up the skirt of someone, but no, it's just dead bodies. I just can't catch a break. We then finally get to the docks where a boat can take us away from this hellhole. But this kid doesn't have his tickets and he's trying to sell NFTs. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through! Like, read the room kid, nobody cares about NFTs here. They don't even have Wi-Fi. But I use this golden opportunity for something that's never been done in the history before. I managed to take the kid and he pays for it. Imagine that, usually you have to give them like puppies or something, but they, but this one, this one came voluntarily and he paid for it. Now it turns out it wasn't because I'm a handsome dude, it was because it was trying to run away from his father, Gus Fring, who's the president and dictator of this island. And I don't want to get mixed in some family drama, but they seem to have a couple of issues. No lies. Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Although these yarns have been pretty uh, confusing in their hospitality, I'm pretty sure that that was a threat. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. And yes, it was a threat. Vamos, vamos! Now I'm down to zero best friends worst holiday of my life. I wake up on the beach terrified like the kids I usually bring with me are. It's funny, I'm usually the one that does this to kids, but now a kid did this to me. No, I'm sorry about all the pedophilia jokes, I'm gonna stop now. I guess my uncle being in town has just really influenced me. I then loot all the bodies and found a machete. So if that kid ever shows his face around me again, I'm gonna fucking cut his head off. You probably think I'm putting my anger at the wrong person, and I don't care. I don't care about Gus Fring, he can rule this place. I just wanna get out of here, and that kid, he ruined my holiday. But anyways, I followed the path and this creep was just hiding in the bushes waiting to catch me. Just like my uncle. But instead of molesting me, this guy does something even worse. He brings me to the local militia and asks me to fight for freedom for the Arns, which to be honest, I don't really care about. Until I see their general, which looks exactly like Loba. But I pull myself together and tell her that I won't fight for her cause, and I just want to get home. She then informs me that there's a blockade and I can't get out. So now, I have to be a terrorist in order to escape. So the first thing she wants me to do 
is to get this guy. Juan Cortez. He's apparently some sort of guerrilla legend. He makes shit and he also has a crocodile. Which he also gives to me for some reason. I don't really know why. I have no experience with reptiles whatsoever. But at the same time, I'm grateful for it. Because now I have a new best friend, Guapo. And unlike my previous best friends, this one is actually a pretty ruthless killer. And I can send him on people and he'll rip them apart. So I guess you could compare me to Chris Pratt in Jurassic World, except I don't look like Chris Pratt. And there's no other dinosaurs. But we are on a pretty tropical island, so yeah, we definitely have that in common. As I'm exploring what I'm starting to fear is my new home, I come across an old friend, Friday. My trusty horse, who is always beside me. So, together, me and Friday is gonna take down that fucking blockade and get back home. The only thing Friday is missing is a radio for me to sing along to. She took my money, she must slip a slipping pill. She never drinks the water, makes you hold the French on pain. Not too hot, it takes on her, you'll never be. I mean, just imagine like you're a guard and then this random guy just comes out singing and starts killing you. I then have to work with this asshole who's just complaining about me all the time. Now, I don't know if the gorillas have like a HR department or something, but I definitely want to put in a complaint because this is definitely a hostile work environment. And no, it's not hostile because of all the enemies I have to fight and kill, but it's because of him. I mean, just listen to what he has to say about me. I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. I'm gonna be the bigger man and admit that he has the voice of an angel. El movimiento de libertad. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao. Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. So yeah, after his touching performance, it's time to burn this place to hell. You don't use chemical warfare because it's legal. I use chemical warfare because it's fun. We are not the same. But yeah, I burn and explode the place and uh, I'm finally done. I then get a message from Mr. Asshole himself telling me to go back to where we started. And I see two horses thinking we might get a pretty romantic horse ride. But no, of course this guy won't ride with me. Which is a shame because it could have been a real bonding experience where we could learn why he's such an asshole. Or actually, I know why he is. His girlfriend died because of me. Well, technically not because of me, but because of that damn kid, Diego. It's then finally time to take down that blockade. But guess who I have to work with again? Mr. Asshole himself. And as always, he's just complaining about me for no reason at all. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. Yeah bro, we get it, you're mad because your girlfriend is dead. Whatever. I'm working as fast as I can, okay? And it would have been a lot easier if I didn't have to take down two fucking ships by myself. I mean, what are they taking me for? The rock? I can't just land in the water, create a tsunami, punch the hole and then summon some gods to take them down. I'm just a regular guy on Christmas holiday. Despite my lack of faith, I do actually manage to get a few stealth skills in before I'm discovered. And then all hell breaks loose and I have to fight in a flaming boat. Which kind of is epic and the perfect way to end my vacation here. The last guy was an armored guy, but he stood no chance against my fire shotgun. So the only thing left was to get off the boat before they explode, so I jumped down and hit the boat perfectly. But for some reason, I wanted to take a bath. I don't know why, so I jumped down into the water, I guess, and uh, had to be picked up. But I guess it's pretty hot when you're on the flaming boats. Or maybe he just wanted a wash of blood, I don't know. At this point, I'm starting to think I'm losing my mind. But guess what happened? Mr. Asshole here managed to get himself captured. So, this mission just couldn't have gotten any better. And the kid actually didn't want to shoot him, so guess what? He had to be beaten to death, so I'm starting to feel like there's a little redemption arc going on for young Diego here. But not quite yet. But I guess Diego isn't really my problem anymore, as I'm heading out of here. They were dumb enough to actually give me a boat, so uh, I'm out of here. Unfortunately, some Cuban soldiers captured me on my way to America. So 
that kind of sucks. But luckily, I quickly befriended uh, Miguel, so we're best buddies now. And uh, he even gave me a private beach. In other news, war has ended in Yara. President Anton Castillo announced that Clara Garcia, the leader of the terrorist group Libertad, was killed by his special forces. Well, I did actually learn that the rest of the guerrillas died as well, but I don't really want to feel bad about that because, I mean, what could I have done? I'm just one guy anyways, who single-handedly took down two boats. But yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you liked it, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content and I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year's. You have to watch my video, you have to watch my video and like and subscribe.